Okay, Ugh. you good? You're all so. mic'd up and whatnot. All right, let I'm just gonna put ugly. this. What's that? So let me know if I look ugly. Oh, I will also, I'm also like a very good person with like eating. So, uh, oh, and I'll say what that means. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm really good at it. Um, I practice all the time. Uh, no, if anybody has anything under their teeth, I will mm. respectfully let you know. Oh, okay. So Wonderful. that you don't have. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. Let me know if I have a boob out or anything. Oh, okay, another issue I guess I have to worry about now. All right. That's too much on your plate. You're right. I'll, I, I'll take that one. Yeah, please. Andrew, thank you for joining me here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm super excited about this. Now, I know that you are originally from Michigan, yeah. um, but also live in Pittsburgh. A lot of times there are very iconic foods yeah. that make us think of those city states that we're from. Yeah. For anybody who's thinking about visiting Michigan or Pittsburgh, mm. what are some of those foods that like maybe uh, even New York cannot compete with? I would say in Pittsburgh, no one, no one can compete or should try to compete with uh, the Pramani sandwiches. I do not know what this it's, is. It's the sandwich place, Primani Brothers, and uh -huh. they just put fries on it. Like, so it's the meat and then the coleslaw and the tomato and the fries all on the sandwich. Yes. So you go, I mean, if you know you have a bad heart, don't get it. Get sure. the salad. The salad is also covered in fries. Yes, so I did right. read this actually. Okay, so this is the place that is known for mm -hmm. doing this. Mm -hmm. Fries on everything. Do they offer like desserts? Do they do fries on the desserts? Do they have like fries a la mode? <sighs> That's like a very yeah. classic, like Wendy's Frosty. Did you ever do that oh, as sure. like yeah. a kid and White or trash. adult? I, I, yeah, I've tried that. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you're a fan of that. I am a fan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So that's something that Pittsburgh has going Definitely. for them. What about what about Michigan? Ann Arbor, specifically where I'm from, has yeah. a really uh, big Jewish deli. So we have oh. a lot of. Um, it's called Zingerman's. We have a lot of great deli sandwiches. Shout out there. to Zingerman's. Shout out to Zingerman's. Okay. Uh, there's also Mackinac Island Fudge. That's like the iconic ice cream. I would love to hear more about this. I, I would love some too. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, You're like, I know good. the name, but. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know how they I'm make just a it. dessert person. Oh, you're so, dessert? It, okay. yes. So, anything like that, I'm making a mental log of where oh, yeah. I would like to go. It's fantastic. Okay. It's kind of like, I think it's kind of like a cookie dough. Oh. Um, maybe meets moose tracks. It's very, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. All right. So these look beautiful. And you, yeah. and you mentioned that it looked like a really. It's a pretty salad. It's a pretty salad. I mean, I might just be lonely, but it looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what, what's like a dignifying quality to make like, and you know, mm. bon appetit, like. Yeah, enjoy, oh, yeah. Please enjoy. I'll use my salad fork. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. okay. So is that anything that was ever confusing to you at any point? Like which, no. I feel like it can be kind of intimidating. It was up until right now when I said salad fork. I was. You nailed I, it. I thought you might be like, this is of course the soup fork. Yes. So. Well, neither of us ordered soup. So I figured they would have done us a solid and just stuck with the That's salad true. fork. They're yeah. Nice they didn't want to embarrass You're us. Right. I would be awful. Um, so mm -hmm. a salad, how should it look? I mean, like that, I'm assuming. Well, this is like, the croutons are so small, mm. you know? Like, they're not in that giant, like, bag that I always buy. Oh. You shake out the croutons. Well, so. we are at a, a beautiful restaurant, so I kind of we would are. hope that they wouldn't get, like, the Costco, mm -hmm. you know, no shade to Costco croutons, no, I mean, if that's yeah. where anybody's getting them. I would love to but, keep my membership. Yeah. But, yeah, so yeah. we'll cut that. Um, I love Costco. But these, yeah, no free pub. The, these, I'm sure they aren't making here. So mm -hmm. please right. enjoy the, uh, I'm assuming, homemade croutons. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the crouton first. Yeah. And then I want, yeah, it's a good crunch. Mm, that's good for audio. <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. And so how about the, your? My beet salad. It's extra mm -hmm. beady. It's amazing. It's extra beady. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't skimp on the beet. Good for the teeth. Is that a thing? Yeah, because it stains your teeth. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So I just won't smile you, after No, it this. makes you brush harder. So, okay. Circle of life. Yes. It's good for enamel. Okay, wonderful. That's something that I'll put into my arsenal of things to remember when dealing with oral hygiene. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm happy to help. Okay, thank you. I know that you recently went to the annual Fourth of July Nathan's hot dog <laughs> yeah. eating yeah. competition. My first question about that is. Being there in person, uh -huh. 
Is it as disgusting to watch as it is on video? It's, yeah, it's, I think we're asking about it. It's, yes. it's a crazy thing to be there in person because it's like, because it's so early in the morning. What time? Uh, I think it was like 10, 10 a.m. And it's like, some of the people are just hammered, drunk, oh, like waiting to watch people. The participants or the? No, the, the crowd. Got it, okay. Which I, you're there and you're like, maybe you should be to, to be there for this. <laughs> to witness something like that, yeah. But the other half of people are also grossed out. Yeah. Like, cause, I, cause it's one of those things you watch on TV and you kind of can't look away, but you don't want to watch it. Yeah. The Patriots. It's. It's like that. It's like that in person too. Yeah. Cause I was going up to people asking them like who their favorite eater was. Yeah. And, and cause if you're watching on TV, you're like, you know, Joey Chestnut. Sure. And not, household name, not anyone else. Right. Really. And no one there knew anyone else. Except one, I talked to two guys who were like the brothers of one of the eaters. Oh, no way. Yeah. So they had to support so they knew him, obviously. Right. And but, nobody else. Yeah. But the other guys, like I talked to, uh, well, I was doing a lot of research on one of the eaters, Adrian Morgan. Okay. Yeah, he finished yep, Of sixth. course. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And he's like, like an engineer from wow. Louisiana. Like he's just doing regular work. Yeah. And then yeah. this is like his, <laughs> he his event. He doesn't eat a lot for seven days before. Yeah. yeah, but people there knew a lot too, because I was like asking people how many hot dogs they think I could eat. Right. And they're like, are you eating cabbage a lot? Oh, yeah, to expand uh, your stomach. Right. Well, yes. I had no idea. Mm -hmm. But everyone has methods. and. Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I'm sure there was a documentary at one point that I saw about competitive eating. True. Yeah. So I do know a little thing or two. If hot dogs may not be, because you successfully uh, ate Two, if uh, I remember correct. Thank, thank for, uh, You're welcome. Uh, so I don't know if that was a part of a bit or if that's really where you were maxed out. Mm. Um, you mm -hmm. can you can keep that close to the chest. But uh, if there were any other food that yeah. would interest you to sign up for a competitive yeah. eating competition, yeah. what what might that be? Something that interests me is the deviled eggs. That is a bold choice. Well, it just seems easier to like. <laughs> okay. To swallow them. Yeah. I don't know. Well, there's something about the like. It's ridiculous to eat so many eggs, but the care yes. of like <laughs> deviling up the yolks mm. and then adding. The preparation mass. of it. Yeah, I like. There's some delicacy behind it. Ah, so in your version, they would have to be like exquisitely made first, uh -huh. so that somebody painstakingly yeah. took all the effort into yeah. making them gorgeous, mm -hmm. and then you eat them to maybe later just. Bleh. That's a circle of life. It I is. Like the contrast yes. Okay. Of the eggs. Now speaking of hot dogs, did you know? I'm assuming you had to have known uh, that. Heinz ketchup was created in Pittsburgh. Oh, Everybody talks about it all the time, know, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, have you heard the recent Heinz controversy? I have not. A lot of restaurants have been buying just wholesale ketchup and filling Heinz bottles with them. Oh, so, so why? why? Because it's cheaper or it tastes better? Well, just because it's cheaper to buy other ketchup. Yeah. But customers have this like attraction to Heinz, like right. this reliance They're on They're very it. loyal. But the ketchup is different shades. Heinz is a specific red. Okay. So Heinz started making these labels yeah. that have their shade on it. And it says, if it's not this, it's not Heinz. Oh. Yeah. And do they post a picture, like a Pantone mm -hmm. thing of it in every restaurant, like framed so yeah, people can I, compare I and contrast? So. I think they're trying to do that. That's very serious. Yeah. Okay. There's a big... So this is like a scandal that's happening at the moment or has been happening? Yeah. Yeah, Are you going to make a video about this? That's, that's a pretty good idea. Okay. You're welcome. It happens Thank here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I will be patiently waiting for this. You but intellectual it, property. It, mm -hmm. I'll get it cut. It's fine. I, yeah. I think I like this topic, though. Yeah. Uh, because it's something new and also very controversial. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. I mean, I like to think I can trust my restaurants with Heinz ketchup. Yeah. Well, maybe that's the new barometer. You yeah. don't go to the ones mm -hmm. that are tricking you once you find out because you're bringing True. your mobile Pantone yeah. yeah, color. I mean, they're lying about ketchup. I mean, like what else? They're, yeah. they're buying Costco croutons. Co yeah. It's a whole thing. Yeah, no, so beware. You're right. Okay, so it's good that we had this conversation about that important yeah, I topic. I was trusting too much before it. The ketchup mm -hmm. was kind of related to the hot dogs because that's a contentious topic, mm -hmm. I think. If, mm -hmm. if ketchup even belongs on one yeah. Or or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I think if you're five, it does. If you're five, okay. Yeah, and then you, what if happens? You really you're, like that. Well, palate, then you grow up. I see. I, I I have 
I'm just not that into ketchup. Okay. It's, it's pretty sugary for me. Okay. Is and, there something yeah. that it absolutely goes with and then something that like do not even put it near? Hmm. Or you just I, like are really not a ketchup fan? I'm really not into it. I, okay. I kind of like when people like have ketchup and mustard on the same plate and then I just, I feel like they're, they're they what know are they what they're doing, doing with, that? with their life. Oh. They're just, they know what condiments work for them. They just have a plate with ketchup and mustard on it. And, and then what happens? Mm. I don't know, sometimes they they'll, they'll get a fry, it. they'll just spin mm. it around. I don't know, maybe this is mostly about my dad, but... Is that I'm, what he does? He does do it. Oh, yeah, but and I'm so you admire like, that, that's nice. He knows what's going on. Did you ever ask him about it? Like, hey dad, what's the backstory on the mm. ketchup mustard combo? Well, because he, like if this is his plate mm -hmm. and this is like my mom, mm -hmm. he'll put like ketchup and mustard. My mom hates the smell of mustard. Oh dear. So I think maybe it, it just He diffuses it? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's how I think you keep marriages going. Yes, or yeah. he could just turn the plate the other side, but he's like, no, no, he no, needs, no. He needs her to know he's putting in the effort. Yeah, exactly, right. because then it's, it's a whole thing. You should get points in relationships. I think, okay. I think it's about winning and losing. Wonderful. So while you just said that, a lot of your, a lot of your stand-up uh -huh. is about dating, right, and things like that. Uh -huh. Are there, are there certain, you know, sometimes there are like taboo things that you should or shouldn't order on a first date, oh, or yeah. are there foods in general or beverages that have no place in a first date? Should eating even be a first date activity? Like right. what? That's an what interesting do you think? question. I, Cause like I wouldn't get spaghetti and meatballs. I think that's the quintessential thing that they say, like number one, no spaghetti with that. red I mean, sauce. Yeah. This is also not like, uh, like if you're really trying to like, ah, uh, like fit a leaf of lettuce in your mouth. Okay. And what would that exude? Like, is that, is that just, that's a turn off? Well, I think first dates for me. Okay. Yeah. I think if it's going well, you kind of become aware of the other person's lips. Oh, like okay. there's kind of like you're looking at each other's lips, okay. maybe like are you get a kiss later. That's kind of going on. Okay. And if you're covered in clam chowder, yeah, or something, <laughs> not as appealing. You have a, which is I think why a lot of people are like, let's get drinks. Yeah. On a first date, it's right. A, it's a little safer. Yes. And then you just see Stella what or Twa or whatever, you know. Gotcha. And we've got we've got our dating figured out. Yeah. Which, to a degree, but you also were trying to delve deeper into that topic and you have a video called why mustaches yes um as as you know fascinating as that was and learning the whole uh -huh. <laughs> psychology behind it uh -huh. um when it comes to like eating and drinking yeah what are what are the most annoying things that you could possibly consume if you have a mustache, a mustache? yeah because um, i I've never been able to organically grow one, so oh, I, no? so I'm no, yeah. unfortunately. So I um, would love to okay. get your perspective yeah. on that. That's a good question. It's a real. It happens immediately. Like okay. one day, you. I mean, I had never had a mustache, and then until that video, that was your, the yeah. first foray into. It was the first time I. Re I mean, I, I can grow facial hair, but okay. I had never done it. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So and I had it for like three months. And what was the. Not to deviate, but what was yeah. what was the feedback from other other people? Were they into it? How did yeah. you feel about it? I I don't I it was part of the whole idea behind the video was I don't love facial hair. I don't think it looks great. Okay. At least on me. And the second I shaved it, like everyone in my life was like, you should probably grow it back. <gasps> Is that right? People really liked it. Interesting. And maybe they just like seeing a little less of my face and then I'll oh, dear. think about that. But okay. it was it was a lot. But like you know, two weeks in, you wake up one morning and it's your mustache full of toothpaste. Or really? it was everything. Every time I would drink something, it was it was in it. Because it would also, then you got to start trimming it so there's not food and stuff. Oh, there's a lot of maintenance involved. There's a lot of immediate, mm -hmm. I, I, mean, I was shampooing it. I felt like, like a re, it's a crazy feeling to do that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got to condition my upper lip. They have like kits that yeah. are completely dedicated to facial hair. Totally, because then you want it to be soft. And right. There's all this. There's a lot to consider. Because I, you developed all these ticks. Like I realized I was twisting it all the time. Did you ever Just end up with like a little handlebar I, situation? Yeah, I tried to do that. I bought the wax. Wait, to, is that no? The handlebar it. is this way, right? And yeah, like, I think it was what like is Fu Manchu? Ah, oh, there's so many variations. This is, there's a lot. What is that one? The is little this, curlies. That, I think this is a. This is a hand. Oh, these. What are would called, you? What would you call that? These are called when you grow at least a quarter inch of hair off the side of your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
as I learned from one of these mustaches. Okay, men. yes, yes. It's called a grabbable extremity. No, no, no. So what you do with these grabbable <laughs> extremities are their own styles, but you can okay. have a swirl grabbable extremity, you can have a, you know, pulled down. Oh my. Yes. But that's a weird choice of words. It do is. you not think what would you if you were to brand that, uh -huh. yeah. what would you call it? Because that's I don't I don't know how you get there. You know, if you like it's like the mustache cow lick. It's that would like make a, more sense to me. Yeah. And then what prompted getting rid of it finally? Well, it was when I was you just, just kind of done. Yeah. I just woke up one morning and I was like, I'm going to shave this. I maybe I wanted to get headshots or something. And I walked down, you know, in, in front of my roommates, and they were like, No, boo! Immediately. Oh. Yeah. So everybody really wanted you to. They wanted me stay to have strong. it still. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you regret it? Shaving it. Yeah. I don't. I might do in November again. I've been thinking about it. Oh yeah. What do they call it? Uh, November. November. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. Do I regret it though? Sometimes. Oh, okay. It's a it's a nice specific thing about someone. Yes. You know, if they're like, oh, that's Andrew. He's a mustache. Like it's right. Yeah. It is a good um, descriptor. It's a good. Yeah. If you have, but and when you look like me, I think you need descriptors. Is that right? I, I think I look like a lot of people. Okay. Like or if somebody I have were just trying to have positive idea. Ish hair, and I'm right. white, and I. Uh, yeah, you know. Right. So I've the, seen myself on the sidewalk today. Okay. Yeah. You know. So the mustache would how now do you do a full beard with that as well? Have you done that? Did you try that? Yeah, that's how I did it. Or was it I, too I much? grew at the beard for you know, the beard for like six weeks. What is this? Uh, people didn't like the beard as much. Oh people like the mustache more. Um, no, wait, did you do just a beard sans mustache? No, no, or you I did had the mustache. Because that I don't trust. That's a little okay. uh that's who it, even does that like farmers yes. in the old times. Quakers and the end. <laughs> um, true. I guess, oh, Abe Lincoln, he did it. He's the only one. So mm -hmm. for we'll a very a bizarre, pass, yeah, right. for a very bizarre reason, I actually superimposed a mustache on him. Oh, okay. He looked fabulous. Oh, yeah. So he, somebody should have been nice and told him, like, no, and he should have kept it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. So this looks amazing. What mm. was, what was kind of the inspiration for your order? Mm. You have mussels and fries, and then, dear God, I got very nervous when I saw the ketchup. I'm assuming you will not yeah, be using that. I probably won't. Be, okay. Unless, okay. unless we're gonna test if it's actually Heinz. Oh well, you so you should know. So mm -hmm. here's okay. You did a sniff test. Is that okay. part of it? Does it have a different smell than others? Yeah. Okay. Of course, yeah. Uh, obvious. And obviously, it smells much more Einzy. Uh, sure. Yeah. Well, and then color-wise, can you tell? Oh. I, I would. I'm not the professional, You're so not, I. Well, here, let's just let's just play a game. Just okay. Take a smell and tell me. Okay. Does it feel like Heinz? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Okay. Well, it wasn't I, a great I'm not game. from Pittsburgh, so I I can't claim that. This is Heinz right here. It is. Oh yeah. It is. Oh yeah. okay. Well, I'm pretty excited about it. How beautiful is that then? I, know. I would have been so embarrassed having you here if if it wasn't. Yeah. So, you mentioned being a young 21 year old person. So, yeah. have you done the dorm life? Has that been a part of your? Oh, this is not a first date food. Why would it not be to you too involved? Is is well, especially like, for making eye contact when someone's like. <laughs> Okay. I think with slurping. Yeah. It's not fantastic. Well, then, what do you think about like ramen, which is a very slurpy thing, but not oh, quite yeah. like that. Where Where do you lie on? Ooh, ramen's kind of fun. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's if it's really brothy ramen. I, yeah. I don't know, this is like I'm getting it out of a shell. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think ramen's okay. Okay. Yeah. Ramen check muscles. Muscles no. Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, but dorming, I yes my so my freshman year of college was 2020 which you know famous had some issues yeah um and all of the dorms were full because they had to you know you have roommates and like right. they're in doubles and they split all of them so it was just one person per room oh so they ran out of dorms oh so then the school the bought, math doesn't add up okay yeah. yeah the school bought or rented three hotels in pittsburgh and i lived in a hotel for the ent the entire year for a year yeah and what was that experience like? It was cool. I liked, I mean, I've never lived in a dorm. I only know what hotels are like. <laughs> uh, it was cool. There are many people who would be like, that sounds like my ideal 
situation yeah. to not have to deal with a roommate as like a first time college person. That was part of it. The hotel people got roommates. Because Wait, we, what? Because we had oh. private bathrooms. Oh. So there was no communal bathroom. Okay. That was okay. Like the trade off. Got it. Okay. Um, but the two most common questions I get yes. with the hotel were yes. oh, nice, you had a hotel bed and was there a pool? Mm. And what they did was they swapped out all the hotel beds with dorm beds. And they no, no, no. Drained the pool and put the mattresses in there. That's a joke. No, is that a bit? No, it happened. Why? Why? So, so that you get the actual college experience and then you're not yes, too so privileged. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. And I think it humbled me. Uh, yeah. So. Just roughing it like that. Roughing it. How the, terrible. Well, the, uh, did they sense. did they allow uh, for any of the uh, typical dorm accommodations that one would bring? to facilitate any kind of cooking like could you bring like oh, a yeah. microwave could you bring a mm -hmm. mini fridge did they have that like did they take that away what yeah we had kitchenettes in the hotel room so i had a oh. I had a kitchen i had an oven like i had a, an oven i didn't have a range but i had a stove top wow and i had a microwave dishwasher wow fridge. it was pretty nice so they're like we're taking away your mattress i know but we'll give you a kitchen we'll give you, we'll give which you is kind of nice yeah Huh. Yeah, we had uh, we had the hotel TVs run there. Those were like seventy inch televisions. Incredible. Which nice. you probably would, most people probably wouldn't be bringing on their own. No, I was not planning on bringing <laughs> a, a giant inch. television. Right. So that's kind of incredible. So your kind of dorm cooking experience, mm -hmm. if that's something you partake in, do you I enjoy prefer. cooking? Like, mm -hmm. or is that not something you're like? totally excited about doing i really like cooking i think my do roommates you? would laugh at that statement but i why I, because you don't do it a lot or no. well now i live with six guys and we have one oh kitchen so it is hard to delegate like you're gonna have dinner at seven you're at 7 15 you're at 7 30 and we all have three pots oh dear so what, it's what hard are you to trying do. to intentionally make things tough on yourselves by it feels that way nobody's allowed to get any more pots or pans and no one's allowed to clean the dishwasher or sink so it's just it's a struggle oh my god um but i like it. i'm getting i'm pretty good at making breakfast and what would what would an andrew breakfast be i'm getting i'm getting into like i call it like a hippie hash oh what's that 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 might be a michigan food thing too it's like oh you take it like you know eggs or hash browns or kind of whatever you want yeah and you, you just cook it and then you kind of mix it up in a pan okay you could put like mole sauce or yeah wow some, are yeah, you making the, that yourself? Am I making? No, those are the okay. people of Bleep, right? No free pub. No free pub. Uh, okay, well, that's a fun dish. And yeah. that's like easy to make. And yes. you have, as long as you have one free pan, you can make True. it. So yeah. that's good. Um, do you ever do any like baking, which is kind of a different beast? Mm. I make, if I bake, I would make chocolate chip cookies. A classic. A classic. A, a not crowd from, pleaser. Not from like a Nestle thing either. I would make yeah, from, from scratch. scratch. No. Do you uh, do you require like a uh, a mixer for that or mm. just a spoon? Just a spoon. Do it with my hands. Oh my god, this is amazing! Did you yeah. ever think about throwing up some? Since I'm learning that you enjoy yeah. cooking and baking and whatnot, yeah. uh, any of these kind of videos into some of your content, like uh, like on yeah. your TikTok and what right. and whatnot? Not necessarily. I don't know how that would translate on stage. Um, in stand up. Fair enough. But yeah. would that be a thing? Does anybody do that? Like cooking yeah. and comedy? Ooh, like as like a set? Funny, funny cooking. Like yeah. you, since all you need is a spoon, if you do True. the the cookies you're right. while you're telling jokes. Yeah, I would have to find out what's good about it. What's good about what? What's good? What's what's the what's my angle? You know, like, because I can make gluten free cookies too. And oh. Yeah. You'd uh, I have maybe. Meal, like the whole. Maybe maybe that's some crowd work. You see maybe what people crowd work. want, Ooh, here and then cookies. yeah, that's the first thing. That's a snickerdoodle guy right there. And yeah. then and then it's customizing it, and then at the end, mm -hmm. depending on how long your set is, right. at the end, you have cookies for I your have audience. Cookies. <laughs> Nobody would be think, mad at that. Do you think people? Why have cookies from a stranger? But they're watching what you're doing, though. Like you'd oh, you'd have to. Do you know I what I mean? Like there's that. accountability. Like yeah, you're not, true. and you're not a stranger. Like they no, came they, there. They know. Yeah, they know. They, they know. know. They know. It's that's weird when I do shows. And okay. Then people will come up to me afterwards sometimes, and they're like, "Yeah, I went to Ann Arbor once five years ago." Or they'll be like, "Oh my god, I went through this breakup," and I'm like, 
th they'll say really specific things about my life, and I forgot that I just told everyone. And you're like, and I'm how, like do how do you know, you know that? <laughs> yeah. They're like, for literally just on stage. You just tell you told all of Telling them. everybody about this. Yeah. Like, this guy threatened to sue me like three months ago. Oh, no. And I. I have a joke about it. Okay. And this guy went up to me and started telling me about this pending lawsuit he has going on. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. I have a lawsuit. And he was like, yeah, we, you told like a hundred people. So yeah, cookies could be. <laughs> <laughs> cookies could be a lot lighter. Could be lighter. Crowd pleaser. Mm -hmm. You're apparently good at it. I don't know. Could be a very no. unique angle. I don't, I don't know if there's a lot of people in the market doing it. That's true. Okay. There probably aren't. Okay, well. Maybe, maybe I'll find out why. <laughs> well, all right, keep me posted on that. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's um, I think it's kind of like a very novel thing. Yeah. Should it ever take place? If not, it's mm -hmm. fine. You've had some food adjacent jobs in the past. Yeah. One of which you said uh, was working for DoorDash. Is that, uh, yeah. is that accurate? Yeah, I did work for DoorDash. Okay, yeah. and so you tell this story uh -huh. that involves a kind of a, a delivery snafu. Mm -hmm involving cookies okay. um is this sounding familiar this is one of my tiktoks right it is yeah. yes okay so again wasn't sure if it was a bit or it's true if, but what, what okay happens? so I, I i shall tell you your own story <laughs> okay. uh so you are going to um a cookie establishment no oh. free pub uh and okay. you're picking up an order for a customer and while waiting you decide to order some for yourself Mm -hmm. And you order, if I'm not mistaken, a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie yes. for yourself. Yes. No idea what the other person ordered. Mm -hmm. You start eating some cookies later to find out that the other person who has a nut allergy mm -hmm. got your cookies. Mm -hmm. This happened. This did happen. Yes. What? I this now. What was the flavor that the other person ordered that? tasted so similar because I feel like yeah no offense I feel like white chocolate macadamia mm -hmm. is pretty specific I think it's pretty specific too. yeah so yeah. so what at what point were you eating a cookie I, I just got a white chocolate chip cookie without the macadamia yeah nuts. I think I was eating it just like it's macadamia nuts don't taste like a lot yeah I remember buying it being like oh this is weird like I don't really know what macadamia nuts taste like so I bought that Oh, so you had no baseline no. for what it should have it was been. Like I kept delivering from this cookie place okay. and people were buying it. And I was like, what, what is that? What's the appeal? So I bought one. And, and you were like, like, it's fine. fine. Yeah. <laughs> and this one guy was like, they're not fine. <gasps> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. So it's pretty much the worst like variety mix up mm -hmm. that you could get because <laughs> <That's true. laughs> you had no idea what it was supposed to be. Uh -huh. Uh, they were getting the white chocolate, but then also had, did they go into like anaphylactic shock? Like what happened? I don't know. Did you get like all get of that information? Um, well, no, that's one I of those think. things. Maybe it's anxiety or maybe it's just having another DoorDash order to get to. Oh, you're pretty quickly like, eh, that's over. So DoorDash may not have been your proudest no. moment, but you also were, and, and I'd like to clarify because you refer it, uh, with two different titles, so right. I don't want to overstep. Um, it is either a lunch monitor or a lunch supervisor. Which mm. which is it? Is it both? Or did you get promoted? Like what? <laughs> I was a. I would say I was a lunch monitor. Lunch that monitor. Was the, term. the lunch supervisor, which each shift one of us was the supervisor, and oh. that was kind of like the point person for all the lunch monitors. Got it. So okay, so there is a superior role to it. It is better. To okay. Be the I mean, you're probably making three more dollars an hour. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I what think what I did is it one? Once. Oh, one time. I think one shift the lunch supervisor wasn't there and then they were like, Andrew, you can do it. Okay. And yeah. and what does the job entail? Um, well, it was a lot of like walking kids to and from recess, oh. taking them to lunch, uh, making sure no one was cheating at like soccer or golf. Oh. Ball. Yeah, it was a lot of that. Yeah, it was a lot of like, so not a not a lot of lunch stuff. It no, was... there were the lunch people. Oh, and there were the recess people. So why was it not called recess monitor? Well, it's all during the same lunch period. Okay, but so it was a broad. Yeah, and okay. the people in the lunchroom, it, they had more of the like, oh, you've been around the block. Mm. You get to sit for the three hours of lunch. It's three hours. Because it's each grade goes, and they oh. each get like their own half hour, or forty minutes. Wow. So you like start the day with the kindergartners, you end with the fifth graders, and it's very different throughout the day. 
Oh my gosh. So how, how does one mm -hmm. tackle dealing with kindergartners versus fifth graders? Cause like, I would assume, you know what they say about that, but I would assume uh -huh. that the fifth graders have a little more sass and attitude and yeah. they probably like to try you because they're like, you're not that much older than me. It was causing damage. Was I would play basketball with those eight foot rims and I would dunk on all the third grade boys. <laughs> They're like, you're so good. Oh, not a lot of tears, though, I hope. Or, no, well, okay. I wasn't paying attention. You've already accomplished a lot at such a young age. Oh, thanks. So, well, yeah. You should tell my, my parents that. That would, that it would make them way. happy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're still waiting for the big... They're still for... applying me to lunch bonder jobs. Oh, dear. It'll yeah. never end. You'll Probably be headlining not. some fantastic mm -hmm. show and then be like, and that's my time. I have to go to the kindergartners. Yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, it over. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's okay. my time. Um, well, mm -hmm. let's let's send all of this positive energy out there okay. to uh, when you are scoring your, you know, special on insert whatever streaming platform here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get to that level and they're like, oh, uh, Mr. Lafferty's people, um, we need his rider. What right. do you ever think about like? What it, what kind of like writer am I crafting? Like, what's the most extravagant thing I can put on there? Am I putting things on there as a joke to see if they'll actually do it? Uh -huh. um, is this something you ever fantasize about? Uh -huh. Okay, I, I thought about it a couple of times. Okay, and this is I don't know if I would want this, but it would be funny to see if it happens. Okay, this is a lot, so I don't know if I'd put anything else on the writer if I had this on it. Okay, but like a new pair of shoes. Now, do you specify? Yeah, well, like, because I have, every time, I think I have a bad taste in fashion. Okay. In general. So every time I buy something and people go, oh, I like that. I go, okay, I'll just buy this pair of shoes over and over. Um, but I don't keep them up well and they get dirty. Like, I have these green Air Force Ones on. And I think they're cool, but I'll never clean them. Okay. So if I go to, like, a theater in Milwaukee and then I get there, they're like, you're shooting Air <laughs> yeah. Force Ones. I think that would be perfect. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. And you can you can update it according to what is more in fashion, up totally. to date. If you have a new color preference yeah, or yeah. anything like that. It's winter, if it's after Labor Day. That's true. Stop wearing the white ones. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's clever. Okay, so mm -hmm. that would be the one and only. Now, if you did feel, uh -huh. you know, um, confident to add more things to it, right. are there any like food and bev things that are like you know how you hear people do like the craziest yeah. things like pick out all of the Skittles except for the green ones or yes. whatever, which yeah. doesn't sound terribly wild, but a little bit. It's a lot for that it's one a person little, to do. Yes. Uh, yeah. Would you want that to knowing that like one stagehand touched all the Skittles? Well, you would have to put an asterisk on there and say you must wear gloves when you're doing this. True, but you I, have to I, be I would thorough. like the image of like Alexis picking out, you know, even if she's... We've named them. <laughs> We've named them now. Okay. Yeah. Um, are there are there any like foods or breads that would have to make the cut? If I was in like a big green room and I had like people coming, mm -hmm. I would probably want, yeah, I would want more things like maybe like uh, like rosé okay. or something for people. Uh, hmm. Good food. I feel like you want something kind of light. I was gonna. You're... I was gonna say like before you get on stage, do do you get kind of like jitters to where you don't really want to think about eating and drinking anything, and it's something you right. save for after? Do you need some kind of a base? Like what is? You need to eat. Like yeah, uh, yeah. You don't want to think about food when you're on stage. Right. And a lot of the times, if I have like lasagna and I walk on stage, it is all I'm thinking about the whole time. Oh, because yeah. you're full. Or... Yeah. I'm just okay. Like, like it's oh. like creamy and yeah, right that's too much okay yeah because a lot of because people give you drinks sometimes it shows too when you're on set and like you before can't, after during all of the all above of happened. okay yeah. and that's a lot if you're eating you know yes you have that so maybe like yeah you know what's an ideal meal i know yeah um a light set maybe a panini oh okay like that okay. uh, i've been getting into making paninis recently oh so, good yeah. i mean listen you've got okay so now we've got the because you can bring a press on stage all you oh need is the God, extension you're, cord. You're right. I'm I'm going to see that this happens. Okay, because you were talking about cookies, and I was like, do I need an easy bake oven on stage? I mean, we can I'll talk about this look, offline, right, right. but yeah, but yeah. there there are definitely ways to facilitate this. Mm -hmm. But yeah, okay, so it, you don't have to make it on stage, but a panini is a good base. Panini, I yeah. really like fish and chips. I don't, oh I don't yeah. Think that's too heavy. Yeah no. Fish is a little, yeah. 
Yeah, that's a good yeah. one. Okay, yeah. so those are those are the go tos for a successful I think so, yeah. performance. Yeah, or like if I'm here, like sometimes I'll get like one like dollar slice, and then I'll walk the five more blocks, and then I feel good. Okay. Not hungry, and I burned it off a little before I get on stage. Right, yeah. the perfect combination. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. Because then afterwards you could you could drink a beer or you could have more dinner. Yes, yeah. a second dinner. A second dinner. Amazing. As the hobbits say. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Well, who doesn't love them? Well, yeah. Andrew, I, we didn't have technically a second dinner. This was our first lunch. Right. But it was a pure delight. I I enjoyed our conversation, getting to know you, yeah. and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me.